What's up, everyone? Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Got a special live stream for you all today. All right, this is exciting. I love doing these little live streams. These are fun. Shout out to everybody that's watching. Hello, welcome, welcome. Just kind of getting things set up here. All right, sweet. Sweet. So how's everyone doing? I have a, a fun live stream for you today. I don't, it's not going to be too long of a live stream. Um, it's going to be kind of, you know, not, not too much involved. But I still wanted to get on and say hi to all of you. So uh, I'm excited, definitely. And I hope you all are as well. So, um, Gaming for Days, Mario Fan 64, Gamer 47368, Chris Studios, Yayoi Olshade, uh, It's Pat, Adam Sandoval, what's up? Uh, Yayoi, who made the music for the intro? Me! Um, that's my own music that I made up for my intro. Um, Javery Jefferson, what's up? So, yeah, um, for those that may have missed it, the last time I did a live stream, uh, a week or so ago, um, uh, I unboxed some Juoger stuff. Uh, the Mean Bean channel, uh, how did I make the intro? Um, I used GarageBand for the music, and then the the logo I designed online, um, and I, I got a nice background and stuff. And I just I used um, I don't remember if it was iMovie or Final Cut, some video editing software to like make the logo kind of appear and like just very basic editing. But the music I just created in GarageBand just from me messing around with it basically. Um, but yeah, so for anybody that um, that may have seen. My previous Juozer live stream, I decided to start collecting at least some of the um, the Juozer stuff. I don't know if I'm really gonna get all of it. I don't know, but I started, and so I have the Juo Changer right here. So I did an unboxing live of all this stuff, so you can check that out. Um, I got uh, this little guy right here, which is. Bam! The uh, Juo King right here, so that's pretty cool. I got this thing right here, which is the giraffe. So there's that. And I got this and this. So those five Juoger items, I did an unboxing for all of those. Um, and... I said I was going to start to film full reviews of these things, and I did. I started filming um, full reviews. So, just to give you guys an update on my channel, tomorrow I'm going to have um, a new one up box unboxing video for you, okay, for February. I know it's a little late, but I'll have that. Friday, I'm going to have my review of the Duo Changer, okay? Uh, and then I. Uh, uh, over the next couple days after that, I'm going to have more Juoja reviews and more Dino Supercharge reviews. I, I will get back to the Power Rangers reviews, but I wanted to delve a little bit into um, Juoja a little bit too. So, um, lots of stuff on the way. In, in case you guys want an idea of some of the Power Ranger stuff I'm going to be reviewing, um, I'll show you. I, I know I'm behind on some of these things, but I'm going to be catching up. I have all the Dino Steel figures. So just to give you an idea, like here's Dino Steel Black. I have the Rangers right here. Um, and I have other 5-inch figures too. I have, um, where are they? I have a purple, and here, I'll just grab the box. I'll show you guys the box so you can really just see what I'm talking about. Um, I have purple and aqua Rangers. Um, and I have Snide and the T-Rex Supercharge Red Ranger. Um, I do not have... The Dino Super Drive um, or Dino Drive or whatever it is for Aqua and Purple yet. I still got to get those. Um, I still need to get around to doing this review, so I know I'm late on that, the Zord Armor. I will do that. I have more Dino Chargers sitting over there. Um, I have the Black T-Rex Zord. Oh, I do have the 5-inch Plesio Charge Megazord. I have the Spino Zord. Um, so I got a bunch of other things to review as well. Um, also, I'm trying to find the Legacy Falcons Award, so if I get that, I will do that as well. Um, so I do have lots of Dino Supercharge reviews uh, in the works. Um, they're all right here getting ready to, to get all that filmed. Let me move this out the way. Um, so yeah, so I do have all those, but for the purposes of today, um, I have these guys right here. Um, 
how do I get all this stuff, Michaela? Um, I buy it. <laughs> um, the uh, the thing is, it's it's thanks to all of you and your support where you guys support my videos. And so if you guys watch my videos, I can then go buy more stuff to make more videos and it's an endless cycle and everything. So it's thanks to all of you that you're able to support it. Um, but also having a full-time job helps as well. <laughs> um, so, boom, I have these latest Geoja items right here. So I have the, uh, the cube elephant right here and the cube tiger. So uh, really excited about these. Um, and I know people um, give me flack about ordering from Image Anime because it's more expensive, but I always say I have never had, well, I guess I have had an issue once with Image Anime, but they were pretty quick at correcting it. Um, but they've been pretty reliable overall, and they're really quick shipping. So um, I know these like just came out, so this is really quick shipping. And because of that, I can get on right now and unbox them live for you. So I spend more money but I'm able to then make more videos more quickly for you so you guys get to see stuff even earlier. So that's kind of my goal with that. Um, so, um, all right. So do you want me to get started with unboxing these? Um, or if you guys have questions as well, I'll kind of answer them throughout um, so you can go check that out. Um, what's up, Moses? Um... Am I rich? Uh, no, I, I just, uh, I make videos on YouTube. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, but that doesn't make me rich at all. Um, in fact, I'm going to be going broke with everything coming up. Um, but, uh, let's see. How many Power Ranger items do I have total? That is, I can't even answer that. I, if you're counting every individual little item that I have, thousands. I'm not even joking. I mean, if you're counting every little Power Ranger figure, every, you know, yeah, thousands. Um, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, all right, I'm just going to kind of unbox this and talk at the same time. Uh, I, again, I will do full reviews of these too, but um, let's just unbox it right now. So if, for those just joining, this is the cube elephant right here. I don't know what the next season of Power Rangers is going to be. We only know 2017 is Ninja Steel, so I assume 2018 will be the second season of Ninja Steel, um, but we'll see. Bam. Okay. So instructions, and we have it right here. Ta-da. So. Okay, I'll put this away. So now we finally have um, all of the individual cubes. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So, is it already transformed? I guess so. There you go, there's number four. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. Okay, so uh, I'm going to transform this back to the cube block so that way we can kind of look at that. Okay. One, two, three. And so let me show you guys real quick the transformation to the elephant. So, looks like... Um, this piece lifts up, and this piece lifts up, and then this piece folds out, and this goes back, and is that it? That doesn't seem right. I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, I need to twist this to the side. What is happening with this one? <laughs> oh, like this? Really? Like that? That's supposed to be it? 
I guess so, looking at the box. Um, oh, I guess this goes down a little bit, but... Um, Okay, well, here's here's the elephant, guys. This is supposed to be the elephant. Uh, from the front, it looks okay. From the side, that's really weird looking. Um, that's really odd. Um, but okay, that's fine. I don't know. That that was really odd to me. <laughs> um... um so, what else we got here? Okay. So now, to do the transformation, basically, uh, now, you're not supposed to stack 1, 2, 3, 4 all together, but I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, that's kind of cool, actually, the 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, but uh, I'll show you guys the Megazord transformations in a second. Let me open up number 5, and then I'll show it to you. Um, so we'll get back to that one. Okay. We have the tiger right now. Uh, Steve, yes, the raffle copter winner I did choose, um, and I have um, I tweeted out the winner. Okay, am I a common writer fan? Um. I just don't have time, to be honest. Common Rider looks cool. It does. Um, and I've wanted to get into it for a while, but I just never did because I just don't have time. So I don't think I ever will. I think right now I'm just already busy enough. Um, and I know if I get into Common Rider, I'm not going to stop and I'm going to want to collect everything and that's going to be dangerous there. So, yeah. Here's number five right here. So there's that cube. Uh, let me uh, transform this. Okay, so to make this, looks like, uh, okay, the head folds out, this pulls out like that, and then there's a tail that goes like that. And there we go. Alright, this one looks better. So here's the tiger right here from the front and from the side like that. That, that one looks more, more okay than the elephant. So that's pretty interesting. Um, oh, actually, hold on. These can fold down, too. Um, the instruction... Oh, actually... Huh. So, I'm not sure which way it's supposed to be. So the box shows the claws folded up here, but then at the top, the claws are folded down. So I guess you can do it either way. So you can either have them like this, or folded down like that. So that's interesting. Huh. But anyways, I'll show you guys it more in depth in my actual review uh, when I do that. But for now, I just wanted to at least show that. Okay, so we have number five. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 I don't know why I was singing like rap stain blue. Uh one, two, three, four, five! <laughs> this is actually kinda cool, a little totem pole of Zords right here. Um so that's actually kinda fun. Alright, so let's start making some transformations here. Um So first one will be with one, two, and four. So let's take off one and two. Okay. And let's put on number four. Okay. One, two, and four. Uh, Javery Jefferson, did I pick the winner for the Why Do We Subscribe to Your Channel? And so commenting on my vlog, that one, yes, I already picked. I already picked all the winners for all my stuff, guys. Um, the uh, the contests are now over, so all the winners have been chosen. Um, the only one that's kind of pending is that le the Legacy White Tigers Award. I picked a winner. I told the winner who it is. I announced it on Twitter. On Twitter, um, but then I. Um, I am in the process of shipping that out. So, okay. Let me show you guys um, this transformation. So, flip it over. And, okay, here we go. Ready? Bam. This twists over. 
and this piece folds up like that. Um, so that is this transformation right here. So this just use one, two, and four. You do get a little bit of yellow right here, um, but uh, that's that transformation with the elephant. Looks kind of cool. I think it looks pretty neat with the, the elephant down there. So it just basically replaces the feet. So, you know, if I were to just pop this off um, and just put on the regular one, you'll see here's the regular what it looks like. If I just put that back in. Um, but with the elephant instead, here's what it looks like. So they just kind of, you know, yeah, there's that basically. Um, all right, so then let's try the other transformation here. Let me put this back. About the tiger lines in the cube and tail because they line up. Don't know why it's so simple. Yeah, Brent, the tiger actually looks kind of neat. Um, I kind of dig that. All right, so let's actually do the tiger transformation, uh, which uses one, five in the middle, and then three. Okay, that's interesting. So take off one. And then it said five in the middle, okay, and then three, okay. Let's uh, let's sum it, Let's do the Megazord transformation with this with the Duo Changer. <laughs> All right, just figured I'd do that just for the heck of it. All right, so one, five, and three, and I'll flip it over so it's kind of like that. All right, ready? Ready for this? And, oh, actually, hold on, one thing. Do the claws go out? Oh, huh. Interesting. Okay, anyways, uh, ready? Set, boom, transform. This thing flips over to have the helmet visible there. And the, uh, oh, this thing flips up. And the other thing that this does is the claws can go down like that. So you can have them like gonna chomp on something. So, I, you know, you don't have to have it like that. Like this is the normal mode, but it looks like it comes down to like grab on stuff too. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, so there's that combined mode right there. Huh. It's interesting, I guess. Um, I kind of dig the elephant one. I just, for some reason, the, uh, the yellow just looks kind of neat. But, you know, this, I like how this is the middle piece, though. It changes things up. Actually, I could even come up with my own little combination here, and I could have the green be the legs instead. Would that work? Ooh, it does work. Ooh, how about that combination? I'm making my own combo right here. Um, so that's kind of fun. You can really just mess around with it and do your own combos. Um, I can even, if I really wanted to get crazy with it, um, <laughs> make this super long combination here. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Bam! <laughs> I made my own little combo. <laughs> Megazord totem pole right here. Um, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. But anyways, um, I dig it. You know, I think it's it's an interesting uh, little transformation style. It, it's very basic and very simple, um, but it's kind of cool. It's, you know, it's unique. Oh yeah, I do have the giraffe too, but that's just um, the little cannon piece, I guess. Um, so yeah. So I will have a full review of uh, each of these individual awards and the uh, Jewel King, of course, as well. So I will have a review of that coming up in the future, so stay tuned for that. 
Um, my first Juojo review, like I said, is the Juo Changer. I just filmed this recently, and I'll be working on that. It should be up on Friday, hopefully, is my goal. So you'll have a new, or my first Juojo review on Friday. So that'll be cool. Um, so yeah, I'll be on. I'll be on for a little bit and answer you guys' questions. So if you have any questions, um, go for it. Favorite Power Rangers theme song? Um, that's hard. Uh, I have a bunch. I mean, um, I, I I really don't have one favorite. I'll, I'll name a couple. I mean, the Mighty Morphin theme song is so classic, and I love like the original style. Like it's very rock and roll. It was so cool. Um, I liked in space lost galaxy had a really cool theme song too um time force was great ah, there's so many great ones dino thunder was good even spd and there's so many great ones i just i don't even uh that, that's hard i like the the dino charge theme as well um yeah there's there's just a lot of uh a lot of good themes a lot of good themes Andrew, do I think there'll be an American version of Tokyujur? I doubt it, to be honest. Um, I think they're going to be skipping it. I think they have enough content with Ninja, and then by the time, you know, let's say they do a second season of Ninja in 2018, 2019, at that point they'll have, um, they'll have uh, Juojur from from 2016. They'll have the 2017 Sentai, the 2018 Sentai. They're going to have a lot to pick from, you know, so. Uh, how old am I? I'm 26. What Rangers have I met? I have met um, Walter Jones and David Yost, so Billy and Zach from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, met them twice. Then I've met once um, Karen Ashley, uh, Yellow Ranger Aisha, and then, of course, Austin St. John, Jason, the original Red Ranger. Um, so I've met the four of them. Um, my favorite out of the four meeting them was Austin St. John, but also... Out of all the Power Rangers, I mean, there's a lot that I really want to meet, but the two that I've wanted to meet the most ever is Austin St. John and then Aaron Cahill, because um, Time Force is, is one of my favorites, and I thought Aaron was great as Jen. She seems like an awesome person to meet. And Austin St. John, the original Red Ranger, come on. So I got to meet Austin, and hopefully I'll get to meet Aaron at Power Morphicon, so I'm excited about that. Um, and I showed them all a picture of my collection um like i showed austin uh my collection and he was showing um walter and david he's like showing everybody like did you see his collection did you see it karen actually told me to uh message it to her on facebook and then she posted it on her facebook and everything so it's kind of cool like they were all excited about that um but yeah it was it was really cool meeting them um definitely a, a fun experience and i'm super excited about power Morphicon to be able to uh to meet um even more cast members um, and to meet hopefully some of you so that should be fun um, thanks Johnny uh, Clertis yes I have the spinal sword it's like sitting right over there I have it um, I am gonna be doing a review of that soon so yeah definitely what's up Adrian uh, Rudy, no, I have not met Amy. Um, she is she rarely goes to anything Power Rangers related, and I, quite honestly, I, I don't really care if I meet her. I mean, I know she's the original Pink Ranger, and if I got the chance to, I would. But yeah, I, I kind of uh, I don't know. I, it would be cool to meet her. Don't get me wrong, but she's not one that like I really want to meet. You know. Um, I, I feel like she's not around much, you know, with fans, and the only time she really shows up is if she wants fans to help fund her stuff, and I'm kind of like, really? I don't know. That kind of, like, rubbed me the wrong way a little bit, but it'd be cool to meet her, definitely, because she was the original Pink Ranger, um, and, you know, so that's a big part of my life in a way, um, the, the original show, um, but, you know, I'm not, like, rushing to meet her or anything. Uh, you'll see me at Power Morphicon. All right, Adrian, I will see you there. Um, do I have Snide as a toy? Yeah, uh, you might have missed it, but I was showing earlier I have Snide right here. Um, so I will be doing a review of him soon. I'm really excited about the 5-inch figures. Those are my favorites, so I'm uh, super excited about that. 
Um, Jose, do I plan to get the black and gold dragon sword? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Um, I, you know, I'm not, like, a big fan of all the black and gold stuff, but the, uh, the black and gold Megazord, I have it right here. Um, you know, I have, uh, oops, I just dropped some stuff. Hold on one second. Um, I mean, I did a review of it, so you can check it out. But, you know, here's the original Megazord, and it's pretty epic. And I'm totally fine with this. Like, I'm, I'm satisfied. I don't need any more. I didn't need a black and gold one of the Megazord. But it actually looks pretty cool. I kind of dig it. I think uh, it just looks really shiny and sleek and really, really cool looking. So, um, so yeah, I'll get the, uh, the Dragon Zord, the black and gold Dragon Zord, um, because I think um, the black and gold Legacy Megazord kind of won me over. I wasn't really, I didn't really care too much about it. But as soon as I kind of opened it up and saw it in person, I was like, this is actually pretty sweet. So, um, so yeah, I will, uh, I'll try and collect that as well. Definitely. But bam, pretty sweet. The whole Legacy line has been incredible so far. It's been incredible. Um, definitely. Uh, Kiza, have I watched the new Sentai series? Um, t no, I have not. I want to. Um, I started watching the first episode, but then I got busy. So I want to uh, start watching at least some of it to get an idea of, like, you know, what all this stuff, you know, even is on the show. So um, I'll try and make some time to watch some of it. Maybe actually today. Um, yeah, maybe... Um, I might watch, like, the first episode later and just kind of see how it is. Um, Adam, will I do film reviews again? Uh, good question. I, You know, I've, I've done a couple, right? Like, what did I do? I did one of the Transformers movies. I did Guardians of the Galaxy, at least talking about a preview of it. Um, I, I don't know what else I did. Uh, not Maybe not much else. I... I'll definitely do something for the Power Rangers movie, um, but maybe for Captain America Civil War, maybe, depending on how I feel after watching that. I'm really excited about it. There's a new trailer tomorrow, by the way, Captain America Civil War. Rumor is Spider-Man's going to make the debut um, in that trailer, which I'm super excited about. Um, Spider-Man's my favorite like comic book superhero. Um, so, yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, do I know Bruno from MMPR Toys? Um, I watch his videos. I mean, I don't, like, know him, know him, like, personally. I've talked to him a little bit online. Um, uh, a couple times, like, I've commented on his stuff, and, and he's, like, replied or stuff like that. Um, and he also, I messaged him when they were doing the whole, um, Power Rangers DVD set. They are doing the bonus feature on the, um... Toy collector, so I filmed my piece and I sent it to him. Um, so, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I've talked to him a little bit, um, but I've never met him or anything. I'm really excited to finally meet him, though, um, at Power Morphicon. Um, I am a fan of all his stuff. I mean, his his videos are incredible, and he puts in a ton of effort for for his his content, and it's it's amazing. It's truly incredible. Um, I like I could never do that kind of content that he has. It's um it's amazing. Um, so yeah, I, I love Bruno, uh, and Mia and Jerry and everybody. I watch all their videos all the time. Um, so I'm excited to, to hopefully finally meet him at Power Morphicon. That'll be awesome. Yeah. The only, uh, like reviewer that I've met is, uh, Shuken Shinobi. Um, yeah, I met up with Brian, um, in, uh, in Michigan actually. Um, and it was really cool. I'm really glad that I did get to, uh, to meet up with him. Um, the, uh, we got to go like hang out. We went to like a Walmart or something. We went toy hunting. We did a video of it as well, um, so you can check that out on our channels. I think on on my channel is the toy hunt video, and we found like some some Megaforce toys. And then for his channel, we did the Power Rangers uh, the action card game, um, and recorded a video of that. So uh, yeah, it was really cool. I mean, Shukan Shinobi, yeah, Brian is an awesome guy. Um, yeah, he's a good friend. Um, and I've known him for a couple of years online and, and I got to meet him once finally in person. Um, and I watch his videos, um, every now and then, and, and it's always fun to watch. Um, and, uh, I'm really excited to see him again at Power Morphicon as well. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah. 
Will I be able to do a World of Haunt MMPR Toys crossover with Bruno if I had the chance? I, I don't know what, what we would do. Um, maybe. I, you know, I don't know. I, what, I mean, what I will say is I will be doing a vlog of Power Morphicon. So maybe I can get, you know, Bruno or Chicken Shinobi, somebody to say hi on my vlog, and you guys can see that. Um, but that's about it, you know. Um, the, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a vlog, so you'll see that at Power Morphicon when I'm there. So, um, so if you, any of you guys are going to Power Morphicon, um, then, uh, you'll be able to see that, um, as well. So, um, definitely, uh, check that out. Um, what else? RoboFest. Yeah, I mean, RoboToyFest, I, no, I'm, the only thing I'm planning on is, uh, Power Morphicon for that stuff. So that is in August. So um, if any of you are going, I will see you there. Uh, to anybody just tuning in, I did do my unboxing already, um, but I'll show it to you guys again briefly. So I have the elephant and the the tiger right here. So real quick, I'll... Um, Okay, here's the elephant right here. Oops. And then here is the Oops. There we go, the tiger. So, there you go, elephant and tiger right here. So, I will be doing full reviews of these um, in the future, so stay tuned for that. But for now, that is what I have. What's up, Rohan? Um, do I like WWE? No, I'm not, not really into it. Cubes, I know, right? Like, I kind of, I like, I dig this. I think this is really cool, just the way they have all these cubes. Um, it's kind of neat what they did with it. Am I going to make any new music videos? Um, uh, music videos, like, what music video? Oh, are you talking about, like, when I took clips of Power Rangers and I edited it all together with some music and all that stuff? Um, if that's what you're talking about, I don't have any plans for that anytime soon. Um, I, it's really only for, like, the right occasions, you know, it's got to be something special. I mean, the next thing kind of like that I'm going to be editing is not Power Rangers related, but it's going to be a Pentatonix video called My Personal PT Experience Part 2. So for anybody that saw the first part, I'm going to be doing Part 2 of that. Um, but otherwise, I'm not planning on any other, like, music video type things. Um, it, maybe for the movie... You know, um, usually it's something like really special that kind of gets me excited and wants me to edit something together. So actually, maybe for the movie, now that you mention it, um, but not for a couple months. Like once they start releasing actual trailers and commercials and that kind of stuff, then I can really edit something like that together. Um, so maybe for the movie, um, but not yet. It, it'll be a while before, before I do that. Um... You're on the Lego Marvel stream. Oh, yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I've been so busy in the evenings lately. And for the next couple of days, it's going to be the same. But maybe, like, next week, I might get back to doing more, like, Lego Marvel stuff and do some of those streams. Um, so that would be fun. What's my favorite Power Rangers item from my whole collection? Uh, that is really tough. Um, I really like the... The Legacy Morpher, to be honest, um, I mean, the Morpher, it, it, I love the Legacy items, first of all, and then the Morpher is just such a classic, iconic thing, um, and it, it's really cool. I, I mean, the Legacy stuff in general is amazing, I love the 5-inch figures, uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff, but if I had to really, really, really pick one thing, I guess the Legacy Morpher, just for nostalgic reasons and everything, you know? So, uh, so we'll see. Batman or Superman? Uh, Batman. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not that big of a Superman fan. Um, I just, I, I don't know. Like, Batman's just cooler to me. Um, yeah. I, I can't believe the movie's already coming up soon. That's pretty crazy. 
Um, it's coming up quick. But I'm more excited about Captain America Civil War. I, I'm, I much prefer the Marvel stuff. Um, so I'm excited about, um, about Captain America Civil War a lot more than Batman vs. Superman. But I'm still excited about Batman vs. Superman, and I'll still go see it. Um, so that'll be, that'll be good, definitely. So, um, Edwin, I would say my favorite would be, um, well, my favorite comic book superhero in general is Spider-Man. So that would be that. Um, so I guess for Marvel, that answers that. For DC, I guess Batman, maybe. Um, I don't know. So we'll see. Favorite TV show? Um... I guess Power Rangers by default. <laughs> it's the one I've been watching like almost my whole life. Um, but uh, right now I'm also watching The Walking Dead, which has been really good. I'm watching uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I watched Agent Carter, which was good. Um, Fuller House on Netflix was awesome. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, thank you, LaShawn. I appreciate it. Um... Where do I get this stuff? Like, like what? The Jewelger stuff I got from Image Anime, but all the other stuff from anywhere. Uh, Amazon, Toys R Us are probably the two biggest places, but also Target, rarely Walmart. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, places like that, I guess. When I want to find something for my collection, like a five-inch figure, can I ever find it? Um... I mean, I always end up finding it. The, the challenge is finding it at a good price. Like, if I go to a store, you buy it at a normal price, and that's fine. But you don't always find it at a store. Um, so, uh, so sometimes I get it at normal price. Other times, on Amazon or even on Toy Wiz or other places, it's more expensive. But if I can't find it anywhere else, then I end up doing that. So uh, it all just depends, to be honest, um, on, on what the item is and everything, you know? Am I going to get any more Marvel Legends? Uh, Reyna, maybe. Maybe when Captain America Civil War, like, closer to that release, um, I might get more of that stuff. Um, those figures are actually pretty cool, so maybe, actually. Which one do I love more, Marvel or Power Rangers? Power Rangers, all the way. Um, Scott, Power Rangers movie comes out March 2017, next year. Uh, Moses, when I started the channel, was I shy? Uh, yeah, well, when I started the channel almost, like, ten years ago, um, yeah, I wasn't even in front of the camera. Um, I did, like, other videos. I, it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I first popped up in front of the camera. And even then, it took me a while to really become comfortable with it and stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, Suicide Squad looks good. Uh, I'm, I think Suicide Squad... I probably will enjoy more than Batman vs. Superman, to be honest. Um, it looks good. Um, but, again, Captain America Civil War, I'm even more excited about. Um, I, I can't decide, this year, I can't decide if I'm more excited about Captain America Civil War or Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I feel like both of those are going to be amazing, so I'm, I, I just, those, I can't decide. Next year, I mean... Power Rangers movie, done. Like, I know uh, it's going to be, you know, interesting, and I'm excited about that. So we'll see. My favorite Power Ranger color? Uh, I don't know. I mean, my favorite color is blue, but I don't necessarily like all the Blue Rangers. Um, one of my favorite suit designs is the Dino Thunder White Ranger. I think looks really sick. Um, I love the um, some of the SPD designs, like for the Shadow Ranger... Um, I love, um, the Triassic Ranger in Dino Thunder is pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of cool designs. Uh, Iron Man or Thor? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Iron Man, I guess. Um, I guess. Just because the suit of armor is cool. <laughs> um, Captain America, Iron Man? Captain America. Yeah. 
Um, my favorite Power Ranger series and why? I these questions are always so difficult for me, and I always default to Time Force, but. I mean, I do have other favorite seasons. Uh, Time Force, I would say, is one of my favorites because the story was really good. The characters like felt like actual characters. They were well developed, good music, good like suits and zords and everything. Like it was just overall just good, you know. Um, uh, Brent, did you hear the movie suits for Power Rangers will be bound to their skins? I heard that. Um, I heard that their the movie suits will be more like. Like, when they morph, it'll be like they're transforming, kind of, like, and their skin will turn into suits, sort of. I don't know how I feel about that. I, 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 the idea of it, to me, is not the greatest, but I'm keeping an open mind with all this, and I just want to see what it looks like, to be honest, before I make any judgment. Um, so, I'm open to it. I'm open to change. Um, the thought of it doesn't sound that great, but I'm I'm open to it and I'm open to to seeing what it looks like. So hopefully it turns out well. It'll be it'll be kind of cool. Um, why do I like Power Rangers? Um, I guess it's just it's the 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 good messages that the show provides and um and, and the, the fun vibes and everything, you know, it's like, I love superhero stuff, I, I just, I really dig that, and, and Power Rangers is kind of like the more cheesy superhero, you know, like, it just, it, it doesn't take itself too seriously always, um, yeah, it has its serious moments, but overall, Power Rangers is just a fun show, um, and I love the designs of the suits, the zords and everything, like, the robots, like, that's cool, um, it's just, it's a fun, uh, entertaining show that promotes good values, and, and the fact that, I was able to grow up on the show and it still airs to this day is like it's like a part of my life in a way where um, the same things that I appreciated when I was younger I can enjoy to this day um, and new generations of kids can enjoy it as well so I think that's like a powerful thing um, and it's it's something special um, oh yeah Bandai making more ranger keys um, I wasn't expecting that but I will get them um and i know i still actually never finished my ranger key reviews the last wave of ranger keys that came out i never did my review of them but that being said i never opened them yet either so literally i've had them in boxes for months because i i, I it's on my list like i've been always meaning to get back to doing it i just never did but i finally will soon and um i'll probably do it before the new ranger keys release so then i can show both of those together as well um, thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. My favorite morpher? Ooh, that's hard. I tend to like the wrist morphers. For some reason, I think they're just really cool. Um, I mean, the original Mighty Morphin one like, was, was neat, but uh, I like the in-space morpher. I thought that was neat. Time Force was cool, too. Um, Turbo was neat with the, you know, that whole thing. Um, what are some of the other ones? You know, some of the ones that are kind of creative are neat too, like the Dino Charge one, but uh, but I still prefer like the Wrist Morphers for some reason. I think those are kind of neat. Um, Dino Thunder uh, had those. Yeah. Those are always kind of interesting. All right, guys, probably another like five minutes or so. Probably another five minutes or so, and then um, I'm going to head on out. My favorite ranger, like, character-wise? Uh, I mean, I don't I, My Two of my favorites are Jason, the original Red Ranger, and then Jen, Pink Time Force, um, which is also why those are the two actors that I want to meet the most, and I met Austin St. John, and then hopefully I get to meet Aaron Cahill um, at Palomorphicon as well. Um, do I think they'll make Spirit Ranger keys? I doubt it. I doubt they're gonna make um, make those. Reina, what do I think of the new Legacy build figures for Power Rangers? Oh, um, 
I think it's kind of cool. I'm a little surprised that they're making figures of every ranger, but I like the little build a figure thing. I think that's kind of a unique concept um, for Power Rangers so far, at least. Other people have done it all the time, uh, but I think that'll be cool. And um, I'm excited to get the Legacy figures because, um, I mean, the Power Ranger figures are like my favorites of the toy line. Like, I love doing that. So um, that's like what I'm, I'm really looking forward to, definitely. Of course I'm going to do reviews on the new Power Rangers toys. I have a whole bunch to review, so in case you guys missed it, I have a whole bunch of 5-inch figures, uh, like Purple and Aqua and Snide and all that. I have the, the Zord armor, I have the Spino Zord and the Black T-Rex Zord. Um, I have some Juoger stuff. I have, I have a bunch of things on the way, so um, definitely, definitely got some more stuff on the way. Don't worry. Oh, I did like the Shoto Morpher from Shinkenger. I did dig that, actually. Um, I almost, like, bought one, actually. Uh, not I have a Samurai one, but it was okay. Like, the actual Shoto Morpher. Um, but then, like, when I started to look for it, I couldn't find it at a good price and everything, and then I was like, forget it. Um, but I actually, I really dig that, actually. I thought it was pretty unique and pretty cool. Uh, yes, Yannette, I do have the Black T-Rex sword. It's sitting right over there. You can't see it, but it's off camera. I have it there. Do I like Minecraft? I haven't played it. I just don't have time. Do I like cricket? Don't have time. I, I don't I don't know how to play cricket. I just um No. I'm not too much into sports, to be honest. I'll watch some college basketball sometimes and the FIFA World Cup, I always love that every four years, but that's about it. Um, favorite video on my channel? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know that I have a favorite video. I, I can say one of the videos that I'm most proud of is the one called My Personal PT Experience, just because of how big of a task that was to edit together. Um, and overall, you know, I thought it turned out well. Now, Granted, after the fact, there's a lot that I think that I could have gone back and changed and added and, and stuff, but um, the uh, I literally just forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Sorry, I was reading your comments. I got distracted. <laughs> oh, my personal PT experience. Um, the uh, Yeah, so, you know, I'm most proud of that, I guess, because of how much of an editing job it was. And I'm going to be working on my personal PT experience part two whenever I can get time. It's on my list. Like, I literally, like, have that there, and I want to get started, but I just, ah, uh, so much stuff, so busy, but um, but I, I really want to do that video. Before I meet Pentatonix um, in May. Well, actually, no, not meet them. Before I see them in May, because I didn't get VIP, so I won't get to meet them. But before I see them again in May, I want to do part two. Um, am I into Jurassic Park? Uh, the Jurassic Park movies were good. I like Jurassic World as well. Um, that movie is good. Um, so yeah, so, um, just get ready, guys. I got lots of reviews on the way. I have the, uh, like I said, tomorrow I should hopefully, um, have a one-up box unboxing video for you. Friday, a review of the Deluxe Duo Changer. Um, and then soon after that, more George reviews, back to Dino Supercharge reviews, got a lot to work on, um, and I'm really excited to kind of get back into all of that, so, um, should be fun, so stay tuned for all of that, guys, hope you enjoy, and, um, I will, uh, I'll talk to you all later, have a great day, thank you again to everybody for stopping by on this, this random, spontaneous live stream, Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, yeah, thank you again, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone. Ha! Ah.